With less than a year to go until crucial European parliamentary elections, French President Emmanuel Macron's party has suffered a setback, losing support to the far right. A recent poll suggests Marine Le Pen's populist National Rally Party could win as much as 17% of the French vote. And that's not far behind Macron's En Marche party, whose support has now slipped to 20%. Well, the trend isn't unique to France. In neighbouring Germany, far-right support has also seen a spike on the back of strong anti-immigrant sentiment. Last weekend, the murder of a man, it's suspected by two migrants, sparked a series of rowdy mass demonstrations in the city of Chemnitz. Support for the far-right AFD party has since surged, and it's currently Germany's second largest political force. Well, meanwhile, a new study suggests that women are a significant driving force behind the swing to the right, as RT Charlotte Dubensky explains. Across Europe, right-wing parties have been gaining ground over the last few years. This so-called rise of the right has caused much angst amongst political rivals. And now one study written for a political foundation in Germany seems to have put its finger on what's really the problem women, as apparently it's a trend of women becoming increasingly lured to right-wing political parties. Women voters were long thought to be relatively immune to the election policies advocated by right-wing populist and right-wing extremist parties. The question is why women become involved in these parties at all. Whether it's because of women voters or not, what seems certain when you look at the polls is that here in France, the gap between Macron's La République en Marche party and the Pen's national rally is getting narrower, much narrower. Well, so are women moving towards the right? And if they are, is it at all surprising? I don't think that it's surprising, because the political leaders in power before come from the party which absolutely didn't react. To understand the phenomenon of voters shifting right, we need to look in context. We have growing insecurity, we have massive immigration, rise of Islamism. I see this as a reaction to all these problems. For more than 15 years, the researchers have been looking at the National Front in France, recently rebranded as the National Rally, to see what attracts women to them. The authors concluded that often they simply poorly understood their party's electoral proposals. I am a woman. I am young. I live in the Paris suburbs. I think I am at the heart of the problem, which means that when I leave home, I know what it's like to get mean stares, be insulted over what I wear. I am really facing these problems. I know how it is to have your car burned, a scooter stolen. Dig a little further and you find that the group behind the study is affiliated with the SPD, the German Social Democratic Party. As such, much of the work focusing on Germany looked at comparing the performance of the SPD to the anti-immigration, anti-EU party, the AFD. Last September, when the AFD got record results, getting into Parliament for the very first time, the election was a bit of a damp squib for the SPD, who lost 40 seats. So the authors treated this as a bitter lesson. From a progressive and feminist viewpoint, it seems impossible that a woman in Germany would vote AFD, and yet it happens. So why did the AFD see such a rise in support and why did women vote for them? Conservative branch has um, a very cons has a very traditional approach to women. In my view, women in the um, traditional views can have many roles. And if you check into it, you will find uh, more elderly women like myself, for instance, uh, who, after they have been raising uh, children and running a family, then start uh, to get a new um, role in politics. Even the study title, The Triumph of Women? Question mark, could be seen as a warning in itself, as it appears to allude to the title of a Nazi party propaganda film entitled The Triumph of the Will, which chronicled the 1934 Congress 
of the Nazi party. Yet both the women that we spoke to felt that questioning of women triumphing with right or with left wing movements is not an issue at all. The triumph of women, I don't think it's necessary. I think it's more important to talk about the triumph of our ideas and triumph of France, as that's what prevails today. We should not think in these terms, um, male or female, woman or man. I think it's up to the individual.